This is an updated video to one of my earlier videos where I'd shown how to connect your XP Pen tablet to your Mac. Since this is 2021, Mac OS has been updated to Big Sur and a lot of many updates have come to the XP Pen drivers. So it's time for a new video how to connect your XP Pen tablet to Mac OS Big Sur. What's up, friends? This is me, Suket. Welcome back to my channel for yet another video. This is the first video in the new series that I'm starting called Three Minutes Tuesday, where I'll be making videos on how to and tips and tricks about your daily life tech and software. This video can be a little longer since I had to tell you about the new series and give you a little backstory. So without wasting any time, let's start with this video. The latest driver for the XP Pen tablet for Mac while recording this video is version 3.1.1 download it. The first thing to do is uninstall any older XP Pen drivers that you have from your Mac. Doing a clean install is always advisable so as to avoid any bugs or errors being carried forward. We will restart the Mac for a fresh install and once it's restart, we will start with the installation. For installation, open the DMG file you just downloaded and copy the XP Pen Pen Tablet Pro folder into your applications folder. Now scroll down to your copied folder and double click to open the pen tablet app. Put in your password and click on open if you get any such dialog box. Click on the open system preferences next and, and click OK for Bluetooth access if you have one of those wireless pen tablets. In system preferences, go to security and privacy, then go to privacy tab and scroll down to screen recording. Click on the little lock on the bottom left of the screen and enter your password to unlock it and check on the box next to the pen tablet. Click later to continue with the settings or you can also quit and reopen whatever rocks your boat. You also have to check a similar checkbox under the accessibility menu. But if you don't get a pop up for that, don't worry, there's a trick for that. Pick up your pen tablet and use the pen to click anywhere on the surface of the tablet. You will see a pop-up to open system preferences. Follow it and you will be able to check the box under accessibility. That's it. Your drivers are installed. With this latest version of drivers, I also like the fact that you can customize the shortcut buttons on your pen tablet to each individual apps. Like say I use Final Cut Pro and Affinity Designer. I can have a separate functionality for the shortcut buttons for both of these apps and without toggling anything, they just work as soon as you launch the apps. So friends, that was all with the video. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it with someone else whom you know might find this useful. Subscribe to my channel and please, 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 please don't forget to hit the bell icon to be the first one to get notified as soon as I upload another three minute Tuesday video. I'm also starting a new series called Editing Tips Saturday, where I'll be making videos about tips and tutorials about editing and motion graphics. So if you are interested in editing or motion graphics, tune in every Saturday on my channel. And as usual, I'll be uploading my normal full length videos every Thursday. Oof, that's almost four minutes now. See you all in the next video. This is me Suket signing off.